Thanks for tuning in. Today, I thought I'd share with you a book I got several years ago. Um, if you've ever watched Sleeping Beauty, you have seen this artist's work. His name is Ivan De Earl. He did all the backgrounds for the movie. Um, they are incredibly high detailed. Um, normally, before he got a job at Disney, he used to, uh, as many artists, you know, trying to struggle to make money, he used to create greeting cards. Um, this He started back in the 1940s. This book uh, shows you every single uh, postcard that he ever created. Amazingly, he, he must have uh, kept records of all his pieces that he worked on. Unfortunately, I've worked on so many things and didn't always take pictures and stuff. Um, but this book is absolutely incredible. It's called The Complete Christmas Card Art of Ivan Earl. It is a massive book. It weighs 18 pounds. Um, it's almost impossible to uh, look at easily or comfortably if you were to put it in your lap. Um, so I'm gonna show you on this table. It actually, um, when I got it, uh, the price wasn't too bad. It's become rather expensive. I think it's over $300 um, last time I looked. Um, it's a very beautiful book. As I mentioned, I'm going to show you. This is the box that it actually comes in. Um, there is then, and this is the book inside, but this is actually another case for the book. Um, it's done beautifully in gold foil. Um, if I can even lift this up, I'll try to show you um, what it looks like this way. As you can see, it's incredibly, incredible, beautifully made book. Um, I don't get it out too often just because of the size and weight of it, but since it's Christmas time, I thought I'd share it with you. I'm gonna attempt to get this out of here. Ugh, it's very heavy, as I mentioned. We'll get this one out of the way. And then uh, we'll take it out of this holder. Um, I don't think there's anything on the side. This is the side of the book itself. I'm trying to get all this in the frame. It's kind of hard, as big as this book is. We're gonna take it out of this case. Just this alone uh, probably weighs a couple of pounds. Um, and here you go, this book is incredible. Very nicely detailed. It has gold leaf on the entire front of the book. As you can see here, um, this is the side of the book. And the back just has some leaf, gold leafing work on uh, plant stems and leaves. Alrighty, I will show you Briefly, the inside of this book, I'm not gonna probably show you all of it just because I'll be here all day. Um, every page has a very high gloss on it. Luckily, uh, the angle I have it on is not reflecting too much, but you can see it has uh, a gloss finish to all of them. Um, luckily, these don't stick together. I've bought other high gloss books that have um, stuck together. Um, here's the ISBN information if you want to look this book up. If you want to pause and look this information up. It was put together in 1996. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Um, but he was, as you can see, uh, born in 1917. And uh, when he made this book, obviously he was alive. Um, just goes into a Ford with some information about him and his work. There's a photo of him here. He's kind of got Andy Warhol hair there. Actually, mine's starting to look like that. Getting old is fun. Uh, so you can tell you see a lot about him. Here's some of his art artwork starting from 1939. It's just a few of the postcards. I'll try to get all this in the view. It's kind of difficult as big as this book is. 
Um, these are some of his early postcards. Let me see if I can set this up a little. Uh, it's a little bit of a glare, but it's kind of the best I can do here. Let's see. If it's too glary, I'll, too much of a glare, I'm going to move this. 1940. Here, let me switch this up. Uh, that's not going to work. Let's try moving it up a little bit here. Try, excuse me while I try to get a better angle for you. All right. And as you can see, just like uh, when I originally started off painting, uh, his stuff was more simplistic uh, back in the day. Um, I'm sure he had some lots of deadlines to meet back then, as everyone does with their job. Um, but he made postcards, mostly all Christmas. Um, and... Uh, I think a lot of them were done with um, acrylic or possibly gauche, gauche as I pronounce it. Um, but they are really beautiful. It starts to get into, um, as you get a lot further in the book, it starts to look like the art that was used in Sleeping Beauty, um, which was a lot more detailed. As you can see, these are I mean, still pretty good details, but it's pretty simplistic using only a few colors, especially if these were possibly screen printed or um, letterpress back in the day. But it's really cool. Some ones that include New York. There's 1944 to 47. And I actually used to do make uh, Christmas cards back in the day also. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have any of them uh, kept. Um, back then, obviously, we didn't have scanners um, like we used, like we do now available to us. And I did take some photos, but unfortunately, things have been lost throughout the days. But just want to show you some of these. I love the tree ones and barns. Um, I'll try to move on. Here's 48 to 76. Got some dust and fur in here. Um, these are nicely done. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better without breaking the book. You can see these are. Really nicely detailed, beautiful cards. I'm surprised. Uh, actually, I've never looked into it. I don't know if they really, any company is licensed or uses his um, artwork for Christmas cards nowadays. But these are the kind of Christmas cards I was always used to when I was younger. Just simplistic things with gold foil sometimes. Um, and then he starts getting into some more detailed work. Here you go. Here's a real nice one. If I can get this. <laughs> Here you go. That's a beautiful scene. Almost looks like a photograph. There's another one down here. Oh, can't hold that very long. <laughs> There's another tree with snow. Love that one. Some more buildings. I'm trying to show you as many as I can. I know not everyone's gonna go out and spend $300 for a book. So, and I love his work and I, I like to share other people's work um, that I admire. Um, unfortunately, I really didn't learn much about him until, I don't know, the last 20 years or so. 
that I really start getting into some of the older Disney artist work and collecting them. His style is a lot different after he started doing cards. He started getting into more, uh, not necessarily abstract, but definitely a different flow of how uh, trees and stuff worked. Uh, he would draw in California the, the uh, beautiful rolling hills and stuff with the rounded trees. There's a really nice simple one. He does a lot of, uh, to give depth, he uses a lot of different gradations of a, a color so it gets grayer as it goes back and darker. And silhouettes for trees. Sorry if I'm flying through some of these. And you can hear some of the pages sticking. But there's a really beautiful Sorry with the glare. I'm trying to avoid that. This is a really nice one. It's got a nice one here too. But uh, I always enjoyed Christmas. I mean, as I get older and you don't really, you know, you're more into getting presents for your kids and stuff. It's, it's uh, try to get back into being more enthusiastic about Christmas. Um, unfortunately, as you may or may not know, I have a connective tissue disorder which is very painful and uh, it's kind of hard to always be or happy when you're feeling in pain all the time and can't do things you want to as you're used to. Um, it's a very crippling disorder and I'm starting to lose the ability to do a lot of things I used to be able to and it's rather sad but these are beautiful work. Don't mean to be a downer while I'm showing you this but just wanted to mention but uh, I have some other Disney books that are actually Disney books featuring Disney art that are, have the gloss and they're really sticky. Uh, the varnish doesn't dry completely and even if it does, it sometimes, sometimes still sticks. Um, but the, some of these are beautiful. This reminds me of Small World. Uh, these are really pretty. I wish I had a book with this much artwork of my own. I really need to start uh, moving faster at producing some work. Uh, it's just I have so many projects. I've always been doing artwork for the man, as I would say, people who own licenses and stuff like that. And I just want to get into doing my own stuff for a change. This is the style. He starts to do more um, abstract type of trees with the branches. But it's really just simple of you're not going crazy with shading and stuff. He just uses the bright side, dark side, shadows. It's just beautiful work. Like I said, as you can see, these start to get a lot more detailed. I'm trying to finish this up. I'm going to spend all day. Keep this video as short as I can. Here's some New York scenes. I believe that's New York. Uh, Central Park. Even has names for all of them. They're numbered. Ooh. That's not good. I'm not going to pull that one apart. And this one. Some of these other pages are stuck. But Some more. These are the ones he, type of style he used in Sleeping Beauty. Try not to show the glare, but these are beautifully detailed. This is exactly how he did Sleeping Beauty backgrounds. These are more simplistic. And these again are the trees that he paints, uh, like the ones that grow in California uh, in the Rolling Mountains. These are beautifully done. I gotta wrap this up. This is real pretty. But if you get a chance and you get some money to spend, you might be able to find it at used bookstores. But uh, like I said, it's rather expensive. I'll leave some additional information in the, and this is real pretty. I'll leave some additional information in the comments about 
where you can get it and then about Ivan Earl and such. But uh, there you go, I'm just finishing that up. And like I said, this here, that's more of his final style that he did for his full-size artwork that wasn't Disney related. So there you go, Merry Christmas, Joan, which is his wife, and Ivan Earl. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. I noticed like 90% or higher are not subscribed. I want to give things away and I would greatly appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe and talk to you more.